Last night we had Virgil Ortiz Jr. versus Kai Velasquez, aka the Mean Machine. And um, he actually, in the second round, was able to hurt Virgil Ortiz to the point where Virgil was holding on, which is a vet move, smart move, supposed to do that. But nonetheless, he was hurt. He was hurt in that fight, which I said was probably going to happen. Uh, Kai Velasquez is a game dog. He's very strong. Uh, some people overrate him. Some people underrate him. You know, um, he's the same guy that... Um, is coined as being the first guy to unofficially knock down Terrence Crawford. Um, he actually did hurt Crawford a bit in that fight. And Crawford is a skilled veteran, man. He's a skilled dude, and he's able to pull that off. He's way more skilled than Virgil Ortiz is. So that shows you something. Kavlaskas has something that um, that's a, you know most fighters can't avoid, man. It's just he just he's a strong dude. But Terrence Crawford adjusted, broke him down, just like Virgil Ortiz did. The question is, is Virgil Ortiz, is Virgil Ortiz chinny? That is the question in this video. The reason I bring it up is because, you know, everybody said the same thing. They said Devin Haney was chinny. He got hit and rocked and wobbled. So he's chinny. Terrence Crawford got hit by Kavalaskis. He's chinny. Um, we get these things. You know, I, it's funny because I've never heard people say Ryan Garcia was chinny as much. I see it a little bit, but not as much. Not the way everybody says it about Devin Haney. Just because he got rocked. Didn't fall now. Didn't get dropped or nothing. But he got rocked and he recovered. And, you know, I hear this over and over again about Devin Haney. But will we hear the same thing about Virgil Ortiz? Because he got rocked. And we heard the same thing about Terrence Crawford. He fought the same guy last night. And people were saying Bud was chinny. And I keep telling people that is not chinny, bro. That's not what chinny means, bro. People see not, they feel like when some a boxer gets hit, that automatically means he's chinny because he got rocked. Listen, I've been in fights, fist fights where I did get rocked and it wobbled me a little bit and I shook it off. I never got knocked down off a punch to the face. So am I chinny because I got hit and I shook it off? No, that's not what chinny is, man. See, I've, I've spoke about this countless numbers of times. And the reason I bring up Virgil Ortiz as being chinny is because that's what everybody said about Devin Haney and Crawford. They pushed that narrative over and over again. I don't think Virgil Ortiz is chinny. I'm just bringing up the fact that why are people going to say the same thing about Virgil Ortiz after what happened to him last night? The same way they said about Terrence Crawford and Devin Haney, you know? So what do you guys think? Do you think that Virgil Ortiz is chinny? And, you know... I want to see you know, a lot of people that said that uh, Devin Haney and Terrence Crawford chinny. I want to see them come on the same video and call Virgil Ortiz chinny. You know, have the same energy for all all fighters that get rocked. These dudes act like boxers are, you know, they're in the ring to get punched. So you act like a boxer, every time he gets touched to the chin, he's chinny. I mean, Boots Ennis got hit. He got hit pretty hard by um, Lip and Yetz. Is he chinny? Mikey Garcia, he got hit pretty. Uh, uh, Sean Porter, he got rocked by uh, Errol Spence and actually got put down. Is uh, is Sean Porter chinny? Yeah, come on, dude. You know, but I'm just bringing that up just to try to make an exam, uh, a comparison here, because I, you know, I like equal opportunity uh, um, energy, man. Don't just have the same energy for one or two fighters, and then you let other fighters get away with the same thing. But we're not gonna do that. And I see people on my comments all the time doing that. And I be I want to see them same folks come right here on this vid and say the same thing. But I'm off this man. I'm gonna catch y'all later. What y'all think about that? And I'll see y'all in the next one.